Today's video is going to be a little short video. It's going to take a load of this scrap in. I'm going to load up on some of this good copper wire and uh, and take in some other of this stuff. And uh, maybe I'll take that in today. That's my new umbrella. I didn't know it was that nice. Oh, hold on a second. Stop talking.
that's printer ink. I know on one of my videos, got some of that red ink a while back, looked like blood. That's just printer ink. <laughs> We've got a rain cloud, a rainstorm sweeping the scrapyard right where I'm heading. I don't know if the GoPro can see there, and no, I'll try to enlarge it. It's 10 minutes to close. This place is amazingly busy. Wow. I mean, they might be shorthanded or something. I beat the rain cloud. What do you think about that? I stayed dry, but by the time I get out of here, I might be a little damp, what do you think? My main objective is to get this thing off here. <laughs> get off my bike, dude. So this is obviously dangerous to anyone that's never done it. I'm very experienced, so it's no big deal to me, but this is dangerous. I don't recommend anyone actually do this. I'm gonna sort it out and show it to you. Looks like I got plenty of time. What do you think? Here it is all spread out. This yard doesn't take the magnetrons, so I'm just probably just gonna donate this to them. I don't think I got enough time to mess around. So I'll probably just donate that to them. This is gonna be junk wire. I think this is gonna go as junk wire as well. This bucket, it's a low grade copper insulated wire. Here's my tin shed, here's my aluminum. This is gonna go as short steel. This is a little bit of aluminum breakage. That's a piece of stainless steel. Hey, it's ready to go. I'm ready to go if you want. Here's some tin shed, some more tin shed. This is communications wire. This black stuff is communications wire. Here's some plug ins. I'm gonna see if I can get plug ins today. Last time I was here, it was 25 cents a pound. Uh, let's see how that goes. I'll talk about that later. It's starting to rain too. <laughs> Electric motors, number two insulated copper wire. Ouch, dang it. And a brittle bucket. Um, so, uh, all right, I'm gonna wait this up. Better getting wet on the way home than it is on the way here. Let's see what this load is worth. Oh, it slowed down a little bit. I was gonna try to uh, get out from underneath this and then show you the receipt, but looks like it's pretty much done for now. Uh, thirty-seven dollars seventy-two cents. I'm gonna get away from these broken muffler vehicles. <laughs> thirty-seven dollars seventy-two cents. That's probably gonna be my thumbnail right there. What do you think about that? I'm gonna throw it down on something like this. How about something like that right there? thumbnail action yeah, that's thumb thumbnail action okay we got uh, 14 pounds number two insulated copper wire dollar 15 a pound for 16 dollars 10 cents we got that 
that steel that was i guess that was a steel brake drum out of 18 wheeler i was actually right about that when i found it 101 pounds at uh 11 cents a pound for 11 dollars and 11 cents what do you think about that so uh i i i, I underestimated that for sure wow <laughs> i didn't think it was 100 pounds um i saw it on the scale though it, it was right on 101 one pound clean aluminum 40 cents uh a pound of stainless steel that was that smushed uh, doggy uh pet drinking cup pet uh, food bowl one pound 40 cents 23 pounds 10 at a seven cents a pound that's going up another penny that's good that's good for the tin hounds out there the tin hounds like it when a tin goes up that's when they start to howl uh $1.61 on that one pound cat five that was that black wire a dollar a pound got a dollar and uh one pound electric motors that, that should have probably been more than one pound but oh well uh 30 cents on that that should have been probably two or three pounds and then i uh, had the they gave me junk wire 30 percent insulated wire on that stuff i was calling junk wire that white stuff eight 85 cents a pound that's a wonderful price for junk wire 85 cents a pound six dollars 80 cents so uh i kind of thought that load might be worth some more money but uh it's not very often my most expensive thing is steel oh no it wasn't number two insulated copper 16 dollars not very often I bring in $11 of short steel, but uh, there it is. I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, actually rained quite a bit. It didn't last long though. Actually, that worked out pretty good. <laughs> I was inside the store for the, for the major swath of rain I was showing earlier. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching.